hello beautiful people welcome back to making home here this is priscilla again and today we're going to talk about the power of gratitude so before we dive into it because the topic is hello gratitude i would just let you know that i'm really really thankful that you clicked on this video if you're new hello hey i am priscilla and together with my husband we run this channel we haven't been present present okay we've been here but not here okay but definitely if you are into family topics faith and motherhood food yes we do cook here just go through the rasta down on this youtube channel and just pick out whatever you think speaks to you okay subscribe if you think it is necessary and share okay yeah and if you are old in the house hello 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 i'm back i've really been gone i was here but i wasn't really here okay so thank you so much for always coming back please leave me down a comment below how have you been what have you been up to and i will definitely this time i'm going to answer okay <laughs> so honeys um we will all agree that um if you've gotten to a point where you are more grateful for the things that are in your life okay life is more blissful life is more peaceful okay you are just generally a happier person living a happier life okay so today i've got only two tips on how i am keeping up with my gratitude journey okay it is a journey number one and it is a journey to be kept up um every day i would say okay it's not a thing where you like you have to remind yourself i know um there, there are certain things where you actually shouldn't be reminded okay for me it's life to be alive <laughs> you know like where i'm like each and every day i make sure i tell myself that's also kind of reminding but i don't take it for granted exactly that's what i wanted to explain i don't take it for granted that i'm alive no i don't take it for granted that i've carried life no i don't take it for granted that i've got special people surrounding me that are alive i don't take such things for granted keeping up a very green gratitude journey is very important to your mind to your mental health to your general life and like i mentioned for you being a happier person okay because we've seen so many people having so many things okay uh, material things um that they thought would fill their lives okay um having maybe um entered certain institutions where you're just like ah, okay they look actually happy but inside they're like empty inside they're like mm, something is lacking okay so um this comes that that kind of discontentment comes when you're really not keeping up okay with what have you got what has god enabled me um to 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 have okay how thankful uh, uh, am i okay i am keeping up i am am i trying to keep up with others or do am i really living my authentic life where i'm just like i've got this i want more but still i am so so grateful for this period for this season for what we have got right now notice don't confuse um gratitude with just settling okay like this is all we've got right now but um we want to get somewhere okay we've got goals we've got achievements that we definitely want to reach at at some point okay but don't settle and then call that gratitude in 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 the sense of mm, we have this and it's enough okay we have these and we don't want more okay that's that's not gratitude gratitude is i have got these um i will take life again okay i have got this life and god has enabled me see another day like i said each and every day i remind myself about that okay i got into the delivery room and i got out alive okay that that's also a certain thing that i am just grateful about okay like i went in there i came out alive and i came out with another another life okay god enabled me that okay so my two tips on how to keep um your journal very high each and every time regardless of whether you are feeling low whether you're feeling high whether you've achieved something whether you are pretty much okay in a celebrate celebration mood okay to just keep that gratitude level always constant okay 
um my number one is have a gratitude jar okay i've spoken about that in one of my videos which i will just um i think link over here or there where i talk about gratitude and being great grateful okay so each and every i started this with um actually a, a big gratitude jar where i did this throughout the year okay but listen <laughs> life changes and you're just like wait a minute i am using a whole jar for the whole year as if god is doing one thing every over two things every month you understand like i've gotten to that point where i'm just like even the little little things i note them down and i'm just like i'm so grateful for this like if if i if, if i didn't have this okay i would be okay but god for the for the whatever reason you have chosen to give me this i'm going to note it down regardless of how small it is and my gratitude jar has gotten to becoming like once it was once a year on the 31st or even before of, of 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 december i could just unfold my papers from the gratitude jar and just read what god did throughout the year for now we've gotten to three months okay every quarter a year uh is that a quarter <laughs> every quarter a year i just get my my papers out of my jar and i just unfold them and read and see the goodness of god and praise him for whatever little thing i have noted down okay so get yourself a jar get yourself a is it maybe it's a box okay or somewhere you can store um papers pieces of papers dry where you can just scribble whatever you think you are grateful for okay and this is beautiful if it is done daily if you can't keep up um on a daily basis okay you can do it at least weekly or every three days okay so this not only is going to enrich your life um after the three the three months of unfolding and just seeing what god has done in those three months but it's also going to bring you joy while you scribble down whatever made you smile on that day whatever you are thankful for on that day okay so to my number two on how you're going to keep your gratitude journey very constant thus becoming a happier person living a happier life okay is make sure that you make more photos okay and i know if you're not a phone person you're like <laughs> no ain't happening but try it okay i i have always been the person who loves making more photos who just loves um capturing moments okay always okay not only as having children okay but even before in my st as a student okay i just used to capture each and everything capture my food capture um um the little tiny things that i see on the way okay and i know like i said if you're not that kind of phone 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 person you might think eh, no this is not for me but try it try it for the next three days or for this for, for at least one week okay and just see one thing i i am mentioning this okay it's um if you you definitely have got google on your phone okay and if this google photos app can remind you of what happened today one year ago okay you are going to pretty much see um how much life has unfolded for you in that one year okay it might not be glamorous it might not be um maybe celeb celebration moments like looking back for you if you've heard many things going on that were not really good or positive but still you're going to have that um it's called retrospect okay of of just looking back and seeing wow this is how far we've come one year okay this is how far they, they really google photos is really doing a good job okay non-sponsored just appreciating okay um it goes back i think to to eight years okay where they really show you if you are that kind of a person who, who takes their memories um, um um always or often okay they're going to remind you even eight years ago okay just random day i don't know how the system works random day you're just there on your phone and then they will they will just a pop-up will come and be like photos eight years ago Okay, and then you will see where you were eight years ago. Then they will come up with five years, three years, one year, okay? And this has enriched my life in a way that I really, first of all, I'm into photos, okay? But I really like guess, uh, like in the memories through when Google Photos um, gives me these options to just look through and see and appreciate 
my journey okay from that eight years ago or five years ago where i was and just look into um, that but also look into today how far we have come how far i have grown individually how far i have grown um in my marriage in in my being mother okay or in just being me priscilla as an individual okay and yes maybe it will work for you <laughs> just try it out for a week or just for three days capture little little things that are beautiful okay it doesn't have to be faces like people like i i usually do okay but it can be food maybe for you it could be just nature it could be just flowers where i live right now spring is kind of woo high okay it could be just flowers sprouting blossoming life coming up again okay from the dry winter so just try that and see if it works for you okay let me know <laughs> what do you do to kind of keep your gratitude journey um constant um what do you do to just show god that you're very grateful for where he has planted you and how do you keep it up okay how do you not um um how do you get yourself away from this con discontentment and put yourself back to i am grateful for this i am grateful for abc i am grateful for where i am right now how do you get back on track and how do you keep it constant let me know down in the comment section below and we shall definitely discuss okay thank you and bye